Okay, project two here, DENT 3027, we're going to make a surgical stent uh, for a implant bridge replacing 343536. Uh, we're going to have an implant placed uh, optimally for 34 and 36 and 35 will be the pontic. So what I've done here to kind of expedite things, I'll have this as a uh, sample. I've taken three denture teeth which fit the space between the edentulous segment here between three and seven. Uh, it doesn't matter if the shade is the same or not. I'm looking for the size and the proper location. Again, with the occlusion. Now we're simulating this case here that we're gonna create implants. Our real implant case for our implant customized abutment bridge will be for the maxillary and a single unit on the opposite, opposite, uh, opposite side of that bridge. So here uh, I've waxed the three teeth up. There's no flange. I'm kind of simulating the uh, um, pontic, so to speak, as the emergence angles right from the tissue here. Uh, I've covered the uh, occlusal of number seven, but be ca being careful not to go below the height of contour as this should just be fitting like an index. So surgically, this would just be in locating on the occlusal surfaces only and a jig-like retention or a jig-like reference to hang these three clear denture teeth in acrylic. So I'm gonna invest this, boil the wax off, throw the teeth out and put a hard acrylic stent in here or clear acrylic uh, heat cured in my split pack flask. Uh, we could use the Ibo base injection we could use sprinkle technique, but I would kind of build up some walls before sprinkling clear ortho resin. Uh, again, I've created a little bit extra thickness as so deflasking, I won't fracture it. Keep in mind, very critical areas are the, the connectors between six and seven and four and three. These connectors have to be thick enough. As you can see, I've covered over here. Let me see if I can zoom in. I've covered over here uh, the canine uh, pretty much here on the lingual side. Uh, and then I'm going to reshape this whole uh, lingual section. I might as well do that now to create uh, full contour anatomy for four, five, six, and seven. Whether you choose to do this now or after deflasking, you can shape these. Generally, I'll do it after because it's very quick and then I have more bulk deflasking so there's no fracture. Now this is a little bit ridiculous here in a way that we've come all the way over here to the canine. I mean normally one or two teeth adjacent to the dentalist section would be enough uh, but I've come all the way over here basically as a processing exercise that this would be the same as an impact night guard wax up or a hard acrylic night guard uh, that you can at least get three quarters of an arch uh, practice. So again, you can see the thickness above the occlusion. Remember, do not go below the height of contour. The connector is slightly thicker and no flange creating the proper emergence angle from the tissue, uh, as well as on the buckle and on the lingual, which I'll recontour this a little bit more once it's processed very quickly with a burr. And then finally, I will take a round burr, uh, probably a number eight, uh, depending on the implant system, I think at number eight, we'll go through the, now we're gonna be careful the emergence angle, we're not on an angle. We're gonna simulate down the long axis of the tooth here, the long axis of the tooth, we're gonna simulate the ideal location for these abutments to have a screw retained, screw retained bridge. Not on this angle, not on this angle. It's gonna be a restricted guide, a restricted surgical stent restricted surgery. Uh, again, a little bit overkill on the occlusal jig surface here. I probably normally only go up to maybe a couple of teeth. We don't need to involve everything, but we'll use this as an exercise. And possibly we're gonna do the whole arch if you wish, but I think the canine would be fine and create a positive jig. So you gotta be really careful on the investing here. Separation is key. Very, uh, very careful on the wax up that we don't go over the height of contour of the teeth. And then invest uh, in our uh, flask, uh, heat cure flask. I will cover everything in the first layer, 
uh, and we're going to hold the model down and we're going to draw off the wax and the teeth uh, and then no undercuts and the second layer. If we separate the model really well, we should be able to preserve it. There's no reason why you can't preserve this as long as you didn't wax over the undercuts and you've separated properly. In the classroom, we'll, uh, we'll go over this hands-on in the investing uh, procedures uh, to refresh ourselves. Okay, thanks.